is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Thing because, I how much golf do you normally watch, Bill? Like, if a tournament is on, honestly, don't lie now. Majors. Majors. And you, usually Saturday, Sunday. You can sit there the whole Saturday. No, 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 no. It's kind of like race car, you know, anything NASCAR. It's a flip around, but, you know, like major for me, points. I keep up with it on social media, and then I know they're down on the 17th or 18th at the end. Right. Then I'll run over to CBS. Masters, and I'll watch the last hole or two. I can't watch all day. The Masters is a different deal. I'll watch none of them. None of them. The last two, three hours when the none of them back when the last when the four, last four or five groups of two are coming down. Yeah, and they hit Amon Corner, 11, 12, 13, That yeah, because you know we're getting to the end. I get. I'll it. watch those last two uh, hours. That's Masters. Still, that's way more than I still will watch. Yesterday, I watched more golf than I normally watch ever, ever. Yeah. The only time I can do what Bill says is if I'm at the course and I got a cigar in hand and I'm walking, you know, the the, the galleys and I'm, I'm part of the crowd and I follow Tiger a little bit, then I'll go follow somebody else. and I'll, That I'll do. I got no, I can be all day, actually, at the golf course that way. You, you, t- you do that for me and I'm good. I, I can be at the Masters. I can be at any... I can't sit down in my chair for hours and watch golf. I cannot. And yesterday, I did it. Now, yesterday, I I cheated, okay? I I will be honest. I let it run for like an hour and a half ahead of me. And then I sped through commercials and, you know, when some of these guys were BSing, not when the guys were talking, I'd stop. But if I saw that the, the, the guys in the booth were going to talk a little, eh, forward it for a minute or two, whatever. Got Oh, I see Bra- it gets back to Brady, Manning, Tiger, whatever. I stop and boom, whatever. So I caught everything, you know? And and it was, uh, it was fun. I, I really enjoyed it, actually, yesterday. Now, it's not regular golf. They had cell phones. They could talk. They could uh, have some fun with each other. It was super loose. It wasn't the regular uptight golf that you normally watch, which puts me to sleep. I, I, it doesn't matter what tournament it is, dude. There's no way I can sit there for hours and watch a golf tournament. I'm sorry. I can't. It's just it's not in my DNA. But this was different because this was Brady and this was Manning and then you had Woods and, and Mickelson, so it kind of added a lot to it. You know, and you you had, obviously, Barkley opening his mouth and all of that. Uh, But, I, I, you know, the match, uh, what is it, the match for champions or whatever it was called, uh, I I enjoyed it. I really did. I enjoyed the banter going back and forth. Uh, It was fun watching Brady, who really, outside of the, the birdie and the one putt, he really had a terrible day, okay? He played better in the back end. And and he did a, a better job overall, but he was the worst golfer out of the four. And you could tell, too, again, not a golf expert, but I just kind of know athletes. And you could tell that T- Tom Brady would never be a better golfer than Peyton Manning. That Peyton Manning would be the better golfer out of the two no matter what. Because you look at Manning, it just looked like he had more touch. Than, than, than Tom. Tom looked more stiff out there. It looked to me, hell, Tom almost looked like he didn't even know the rules specifically. He kind of looked like I did out there. You know what I mean? And so it, he didn't look that comfortable also at times. To me, it looked like he's a guy that probably did some golfing, but then when he was a part of this, he probably went and golfed like crazy and tried to sharpen it up as much as possible. But he clearly was the worst golfer out of all of them. And the thing that a lot of people said, in fact, most people said, most people took, you know, Phil and, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Woods and Manning because they thought Manning, you know, time off. He's been golfing like crazy, which is true. And it's, it's actually, you know, a pretty, pretty sensible point 
You know, Tom Brady's been playing football, man. He's not golfing. And meanwhile, Manning's been retired for a few years. That guy's been golfing left and right and having some fun. So his game's going to be sharper as it is. And having said all that, Manning looks to me like the guy that might have the better game out of the two when it's all said and done. But that was it was a lot of fun. Uh, I loved Peyton Manning giving um, Zach Thomas some love yesterday on it. If if you, if you missed it yesterday, Peyton Manning had a 54-degree uh, wedge that he had to use. So this is what Peyton Manning was saying when he was lining up for that wedge. Go ahead. All right. All right. A little 54 here, huh? Cool. I love it. I love it. How about that? And, and and Peyton has always said that Zach was the smartest guy he faced in his career on defense. And that right there, that that's all you need to know. So play, play that one more time. That that is that is okay. so. All right. All right. A little fifty four here. Huh? Cool. I like that. Little Zach, little Zach Thomas. That is so awesome that he would mention Zach Thomas. In that, huh? That is so cool. And I, I would imagine if you're Zach, you're tripping out right now, right? You're, if, if Zach's kids are probably tripping out with that right now. I think every Doll fan in the world swelled up a little bit at that moment. Like, yeah, man, that's our guy that belongs in the Hall of Fame. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. So it was, uh, it was really cool to see that and... And, and, and it gives, not that this is going to mean anything in the big picture, but I like that Manning kind of kept it relevant, too, uh, with the voting and everything. Hopefully he can take another step next year. I, I'm so fearful he, that he's going to be the guy on the outside looking in when it's all said and done, and it's not, he's not, he's not going to get the love he deserves because the team was so mediocre, during his tenure and it wasn't his fault, but it was just the way it is, you know, and, and it's just a shame, but I loved how Peyton that, that, and that also shows you the greatness of Zach, that the, the impression he left on one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play the game, you know, the guy that's considered a, a, a chess master out there on a consistent basis and trying to fool you. He had an adversary in Zach Thomas that could always match his wits, you know, and, and that moment right there tells you the, the, the impression that Zach left on Peyton Manning. And I hope it resonates with more people that, you know, don't, don't blame Zach for the teams that he was on. You know what I mean? We didn't hold it back against Jason Taylor. And, and to me, Jason Taylor's a no brainer hall of famer. I look at Zach the same way, the problem is because of everything. And I think also if he was physically more imposing of a player, he probably would get in, you know what I mean, like Erlacher, Because their stats are the similar, except Erlacher looks the part, you know what I mean? He's a ginormous linebacker, whereas, you know, Zach Thomas is the small linebacker, the the the, the, the minion out of, out of the two. But that was a nice little moment by Peyton Manning. I really like that. Hey, they raised $20 million for charity yesterday. That was so cool. Uh, you got you got guys calling in and hey, uh, uh, companies putting up hey, a one, you know, $1.5 million for the longest shot from the tee and all this other stuff. And, you know, hey, I'll give you I'll put in $150,000 if you can birdie it from this hole or whatever. And and uh, whether it was golfers, whether it was Charles Barkley, uh, it was it was cool to see that they were willing to do something for a great cause in the process. Uh, although I will say this, TNT must have hated life, right? Because it was pouring, dude. And the rain ruined the broadcast to a certain extent. That It created problems listening to the audio. It cut out mics. Uh, there were several times they tried to talk to the, to the guys and they couldn't respond. You know, they're, they're, hey, Peyton, uh, this, 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 that, and Peyton's just driving. And, hey, Tiger, da, 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 and Tiger's just driving and doesn't hear one damn word you're saying. You know, and it was just one of those things that um, that, that, that part, it, it, and it sucks for us because as fans, we don't have a lot of sporting events. 
And so this was one of those moments that we had a little bit of a sporting event, something to actually watch and something that brought a little personality too on top of all of that. I know that we are in a different, we're headed for a different norm, right? But when we get back to our norm of playing sports and getting our our sports back to normal and all that stuff, I hope we don't get away too much from some of the things we have experienced the last couple of months. You know, the draft, as personalized as it was, they've talked about keeping some of those elements. I hope they do. Uh, This right here, I hope they do more of these kind of things where you're able to pull away a few stars and get them away from their comfort zone and have some fun, show the other side of them, because it was cool watching Brady. He had his frustrations in the first half. I, there were moments where I think Brady, if you let him go and he was by himself, he might have thrown a club in a, in a in a lake. You know, he kept his cool overall, and he hung in there and he stayed like, you know, Mr. Positive. But in that first, you know, half, you could tell there were a little, there were a couple of frustrating moments for him uh, building up, and I, I got to say that I was laughing my ass off. By the way, I see on the chat right now 54, as in the uh, people that are on the chat board right now. So speaking of Zach Thomas, it's pretty cool that I'm talking about it, and and I see the number 54 there. So, you know, I just got to say that that's, uh, that's actually really, really cool. Uh, anyway, so um, Brady was, I mean, he, he had his frustrations. And I give him I give him credit. He hung in there and 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 made some some shots uh, that were pretty cool. Uh, obviously, the that birdie was uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, Sean Payton, by the way, as Brady was struggling, and as you all know, uh, the the Brady is now with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and so he is in the division with the New Orleans Saints. And so uh, Sean Payton was uh, checking out the game and he was like, you know, uh, I'm, I'm all right watching this Tom Brady. He goes, I'm liking this Florida Tom Brady right now. Hashtag TNT. So he liked uh, watching Brady struggle, you know, throughout uh, in the first half. So I thought that was uh, that was the other thing that was kind of cool about all of this is the interaction that was going on from famous people and athletes live while this thing was 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 being shown. I thought that was really, really, really cool. Even though I was trailing most of you because I wasn't necessarily live because I was, you know, forwarding through. But, I, you know, that was the only way I could watch a little faster than normal. If I had to live through those commercial breaks and everything else, I, I don't know if I could, to be honest with you. I just, I, I don't know if I could. But, it, listen, I hope... They do more of these because it was it was well worth watching. And I think it's if, if I don't know if Michael's so secretive, but if, if you got Michael and whatever, Clyde Drexler, I, mean, I don't know, not Clyde. I have to be Michael and maybe I, don't know, I know they don't get along anymore. Barkley. I don't know. I don't know if I want to watch Barkley because he's such a terrible golfer at the end when they showed him with that one. Which he, I think he made par. No, no, he he went two shots over par. That's right, um, because he he missed the the putts at the end. But um, what's it called? I mean, his golf swing's so ugly, and the way he was whacking the ball. I don't think it could be him, but Jordan and Dominique or something. You know, maybe. Tony Romo, good golfer, Tony Romo. Yeah, but they, there's no rivalry there. You know what I'm saying? That when we did, you did Peyton, you did Tom Brady. The way those guys rivalry. play golf, the way the two of them play golf, yeah, competitive. I, I, it could be. Yeah, but the storylines aren't the same. You got to get the storylines involved. Like you got to do Magic Bird. You understand what I'm saying? It's that. That's, the only problem is how, being equal on the course. But, that's uh, I mean, Tom Brady wasn't an equal of anybody yesterday. <laughs> I mean, give me a break. So, but it was the drama. It was everything. It was the personality. It was it was Tom Brady splitting his pants yesterday. Okay, I mean, he even even tore his pants yesterday. Uh, it was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. I I hope they do more of those. And uh, and it was uh, and and hats off to to 
Peyton Manning giving a little love to our boy Zach Thomas. That, my friends, was was a real trip. Let me see what we got here on the on the uh, chat board early on. We got Cookie Vice in, Marco Valdez, King Short, Danny Johnson. Uh, Danny Johnson says, check your messenger, please. Got a gift for you there. Enjoy. Okay. Is it, uh, is it, uh, Halle Berry nude or something? What, what, what do you got? What do you got for me? Uh, let's see. Uh, Finn9113 is in the house. King Short is in the house. Matthew Walker, Dennis Akers. Uh, let's see. Michael Sterner. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, my, Matthew Walker says, my best friend is military training in Washington State. Oh, your best friend is a hero to us, sir. Uh, Drone Spy is in there. Should we trust anybody that names themselves Drone Spy? I try and watch. I fall asleep every time. That's what Drone Spy says on golf. I, I do too, man. I do too. I, I can't watch for a long time. I have to be there live. In order for, for you to keep my interest, I have to be there live. Or you have to do the kind of funky stuff that they did yesterday. Uh, Alex says, hey, let's talk about Grant and how he wants to be an every down back, and I think he needs to be Tyreek Hill to do that. Oh, you're talking about, oh, Jakeem Grant you're talking about. And it's not an every down back. You're talking about wide receiver. Um, Alex Toledo, Tom Brady is just a great quarterback. That's the extent of his athleticism. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that, my man. Okay, let's not uh, – don't make that a shot now. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll take being the goat at quarterback. I'll take the goat at being whatever, bro. There's nothing wrong. If you're a goat at anything, you're the goat of sales. You're the goat of running a board in a, in a radio show. You're the, the goat of running a camera in a TV show. That's that's a hell of a trait. That's a talent. That's a gift. You're You're an important piece. Uh, Jose Cabrera is in uh, the house as Manning practices all week for the tournament. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. Uh, let's see. Who else do we have? Zach was a great Dolphin, one of my favorite players of all time. Ty is in the house. Flipside fishing. Love it. Jeremy Dorsett. Zoe Vegas says active duty. Nellis Air Force Base. Red flag Air Force. Fins up. Thank you, Zoe Vegas. Appreciate you. Alex says, it's not a shot. Just a shot is athleticism, oh. Yeah, I know, but it's still pretty good athleticism. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Would you would you take it a shot if you're the best quarterback ever and that's all you can be, Bill? Uh, that would be just fine. That would be just fine, right? <laughs> That'll get you laid. There. They were actually saying uh, that the fact that Brady started practicing football and doing that, that – he didn't get to dedicate the amount of time to getting his swing down. And, you know, because there's, there's a lot of technique. It's like bowling, throwing darts, playing pool. It's about muscle memory, doing the same thing over and he over. He looks like a stiff dude. And, yeah, it's. He doesn't look natural. No. He doesn't have. It's, it, well, golf is not a natural swing. I, I get it's that. A, it's I get, a B. I, it, it's, I, I, I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying I, I've watched enough. I've played it. And he plays like me. So I'm just saying. You know what I mean? He's just slightly better than I am. At least it isn't as bad as Charles. No, Charles' no, no. swing is like right. right. Char- Charles has no business on a course. No, that's what it, that's what it is with him. 